All right, we are going to be going over the abridged edition J manual spreadsheet. Now, we're going to be doing a block load of a particular building. Our building will show you a copy of it in just a moment. But we're hoping to use these as an example and uh, give you an idea how to go through this particular spreadsheet to be able to do your load calculations. Uh, I'm David Cooley. We have Ricky Henson operating the camera. And uh, needless to say, we both are, are uh, not professional filmers, if you will. <laughs> so if we jerk around a little bit, excuse us for that, but we're going to do the best we can. Mr. Ricky, would you please show them the uh, building that we're going to be doing? It is a small house. Square footage is around uh, 1,360 of conditioned space. And uh, we're going to say it's located in Griffin, Georgia. If you've never been to Griffin, come see us. But <laughs> uh, this is, a, like I say, it's a small bedroom, two, uh, two bedroom house. And we're going to see just what kind of equipment that it's going to take to make this house stay comfortable year-round. Now, we're going to be using the J1 uh, ACA manual, and I'll show you some information. I'm going to come over here and try to point out that we have Griffin, Georgia. We come across, and we see a lot of criteria here that is laid out in Table 1 in the J manual. The beauty of our spreadsheet is it does a lot of the footwork for us. Now, I'm going to point out what to do at this particular point to do the uh, location. I have found out that I must go to this part right here, which is the city, and I must put in NA. This is probably a flaw in the spreadsheet, but I have found a way to get around it there. Okay, once I enter the NA, I go down, I pick my state, Georgia, and then I go back and I pick the city. Now, I know you're probably saying, I don't, if, you, if you're out from some, away from some of the main cities, you may actually have to get a city where the climate is very close to what you have at your location. There's usually not a large difference between uh, a few miles of some of the smaller cities to the bigger cities, so don't worry about that. You can do that. Did you notice how all this went ahead and filled in for us? This information, for example, the outdoor 99% uh, dry bulb temperature for cooling is at a set 22 degrees. In other words, we're saying that 99% of the time, we'll never have temperatures that are consistent between, below 22 degrees here. And the same thing for the outdoor dry bulb for the heating. We're saying that uh, only 1% of the time we will have temperatures that are above 90 degrees for any extended period of time. That gives us an HTD, the HTD of 48 degrees. That is the heating temperature differential. And you see a cooling temperature differential of 15 degrees. That is the difference between the 22 degrees and the indoor heating temperature of 70 here against the 48 and the design cooling temperature dry bulb of 75 gives us a 15 degree temperature when it, uh, differential when it's 90 degrees outside. Now, notice that our indoor cooling RH is based on 50% which tells us that that gives us a grains difference in moisture of 45 uh, per, uh, grains. Excuse me there. Our daily range of temperatures here is considered to be in the medium area. If you were in some places of the world, you may have very, very large uh, temperature differentials from over a 24-hour period. That could be would be considered high, and then you have some places that have very minimum and that would be considered low, but ours is a medium temperature range. Latitude, we need to know that because of the angle of the sun that affects some of the windows and things that, uh, uh, where the sun comes in. Our elevation has to do with the uh, actual air pressure and the uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? The density of the air. Okay, let's 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 roll with that, and uh, we're gonna try to break this up into several different sessions. So we're gonna next be going into our windows and doors.